Good morning, fam. Uh, it's a good morning. Uh, eventually, I'm going to start doing lives. I'm going to start doing these things live. The reason why I don't do these things live is because, like I say, I live in an apartment. It's a cheap apartment just so I can pay off these student loans and uh, do more studying. But more importantly, pay off these student loans so I can get back to Virginia and get back to my business. But until then, until I get to the point to be able to do lives in my apartment, I just don't like it because the people there, they're weird. They're weirdos. They're, a lot of them are predators. A lot of them are pedophiles. A lot of them are just nosy. And I have no peace. So they'll be up in your business all day long because they have nothing else better to do. They're weirdos. So I come out, I record, and then I upload it. So eventually, because I'm saving and I will end up moving, and um, I'll be able to do lives in peace. Um, so, we give all praises to the great God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Ahiah, Asher, Ahiah. The Holy One, the Great One, the Mighty One, the Powerful One. We give acknowledgement to the, the angels of the four corners who hold the four corners of the earth. Raphael, the north. Michael, the west. Gabriel, the east. Uriel, the south. We give acknowledgement to the great slain lamb, Ba'a Shemishaya HaMashiach, Yahweh Shai, who the white people call Jesus, the Negro, the great Christ. We also give acknowledgement to the great wife and the great mother, wisdom to all who seeketh her, Rahakadash. Today is going to be a short one. I have some things I want to talk about. I need to be able to clear up myself uh, because the truth will not be told unless it's told by the righteous. Unless it's told by those who fear Yahuwah himself. Because those who fear no God, or even the Christians, the truth is not in them. They do not tell the truth. They don't know what truth is because it's not in them. So, today we're going to start in Psalm 115. And that's what's going to lead us off today. These are all the plums that have been left over the months. I uh, haven't get, received one in about a few weeks, so it's, I'm due for another one. Because he sends them every few weeks, your great king. To let him to let you know, you know, he's there. Oh, no, 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 no. I had it right there. So we're going to Psalm 115. And this is what's going to start out today. 119. I had it there, but then it all came out. All right, 115. Not unto us, O Lord, not unto us, but unto thy name give glory for thy mercy and for thy truth's sake. Wherefore shall the heathen say, where is now their God? But our God is in the heavens. He hath done whatever he pleased. Your idols are silver and gold, the work of men's hands. They have mouths, but they speak not. They have eyes, but they see not. They have ears, but they hear not. They have noses, but they smell not. They have made hands, but they handle not. Feet they have, but they walk not. Neither speak they through their throat. They make them that they are like unto them. You made your idols unto yourselves, white. And your idols are just like you, nothing. They have made them like unto them. So is everyone that trusteth in them. Everyone that trusts in your idols, your Christianity, your Islam, they're just like you. Nothing. They're empty, useless. And you see the destructions on the earth, the burnings, the fires. I had to record in another normal spot because I'm in Canton, Ohio. I'm from Cleveland, but I was sentenced to this shithole town. And every year they do this Hall of Fame garbage. The Hall of Fame game. The same stupid idiots come down here and do the same stupid crap they do every stupid year. You, ra you These racist white buck to backwoods monsters. These white devils. They come down here. And this is the only thing that city has is the Hall of Fame. That's the only thing Canton has. It has nothing else. Your people are stupid. Your leaders are stupid. Your town is trash. You have nothing else. And when the NFL is destroyed, you will finally have nothing. 
O Israel, trust thou in the Lord. He is our help and our shield. O house of Aaron, trust in the Lord. He is your help and your shield. Ye that fear the Lord and trust in the Lord, he is their help and their shield. The Lord hath been mindful of us. He will bless us. He will bless the house of Israel, the 12 tribes, the Negroes. He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless them that fear him, both small and great. The Lord shall increase you more and more and your children. You are blessed, which are made in heaven and earth. The heavens are the Lord's, but the earth have been given to the children of men. The dead praise not the Lord, neither they that go down into silence. So we start with that because there's things, the more you get into truth, the more people come after you. See, I'm a guy, I'm an average guy. Nobody knows me, but yet they do. And all the cities I've been in across this country, even when I was homeless and broke and had nothing, the mayor of that town knew my name because of the God that I served and that I was among the people and on the corners and in your shelters. And I was arguing with your priest and arguing with your pastors and arguing with your judges and arguing with your councilmen and arguing with your senators. But I was just a poor man, just a poor man. And that jealousy and envy from the simple and the wicked is real. And I read that because they say, where is your God? We do all these things we want to you. We lie. We steal, we cheat, we do all these things. Where is your God? How come he's not coming for you? Just like they told the Negro Christ when they hung him upon a tree. They said, where is your father? And they still say the same thing today. Why these white monsters and their house Negroes, they come and celebrate this annual holiday where you get stupid fucks bashing their heads together and you get the dumber fucks to come worship the stupid fucks that bash their heads together. It's just a whole cycle of stupidity. That's what this is. So, and I say this, and I start all of this because a year ago, a situation happened that is still being brought out to this day because the devils, they just have nothing better to do with their lives. So a year ago, I was shopping at Dollar Tree. And I brought bags in from Dollar General because Do Dollar Tree was on my way home. I stopped at Dollar General first and then stopped at Dollar Tree second. So I bring my bags into the store. And the hourly cashier, who is her name is Sierra Stone. I have her address. I'll read it out later. Because and we tell you and I tell you exactly why I did this, because we took her to the courts of heaven and I went to what you would call the voodoo priest. But those are our, our priests in the courts of heaven and they have rendered a judgment for her and her judgment is death. But before we get there, so I go into this Dollar Tree and she tells me to put my bags at the counter and I do just this. She. You know, because when you tell someone to put their bags at the counter, you're supposed to watch their bags. That's literally the whole point. She allows someone to steal my stuff, my food, that I brought to eat that day. She allows someone to steal it. She holds herself guiltyless. I cuss her out. I call her a wicked white devil. All types of names, because I'm that dude. Everybody know what I speak, and everybody in this city know what I do. She holds herself guiltyless. The store manager takes my name down, takes blah, blah, blah down. Long story short, the guy that stole the stuff ended up coming back into the store, giving it back. Everything was good. I got my stuff back. Go about my business. And I continue to shop in this Dollar Tree every day, literally, for the next year. A year later, here comes the white devil, Sierra Stone. And I give her address because, Sierra, the judges have sentenced you to death. 
Because when you bear false witness against one of the servants of the great God, that is an ultimate crime. And as it says in Matthew 18, 6, if you offend least one of these little ones that believe upon me, it would be better that a milestone was hung upon your neck and that you were drowned in the depth of the sea. The Christ said it would be better for you, Sierra, that you were killed. So, a, little, a year later, which would be June 22, I go back into this Dollar Tree, do my shopping. I'm in the store for about 10 minutes, looking around, getting the stuff I need. And I walk down the aisle, here she is. She points at me and says, aren't you the one who said all those things to me a year ago? I'm a manager now, so I ban you and you can't shop here. Wait a minute, where they do this at? That's your first mistake. Where they do this at? And the mistake she makes just continues to go on down the list. Now, because you think you're somebody special, because you're really not. You're an hourly manager at Dollar Tree. Stop it. She decided, oh, you can't shop here no more. I'm not selling to you. She tells her dog, another white devil by the name of Nicole. I don't know her last name because she looked like a whole ass man. But curses have been placed upon you as well, Nicole. You have also been sentenced to death. She tells Nicole, don't sell me nothing. Don't sell it, me nothing. And so I go up to the counter, put my things on the counter, and they're not gonna, they're not gonna check me out. They're not gonna do none of that. So once I begin to play, I'm literally trying to plead logic with this stupid devil. And that's the biggest mistake I made because you can't logic with devils. They're just illogical, especially to the people here in Canton, Ohio, which is pretty much the most ignorant city in America. I'm logical with her saying, how are you going to ban me for something you did? How are you going to get mad at me for something you did? And what I told you and what I called you was all a reaction of what you did. But devils... It's never about what they do. It's always about what you do. Especially with white people. You know, because they're, they're devils. It's never about what they do. It's always about what you do. So she calls the police and accuses me of assaulting her and then stealing from the store. And the camera has all of this, which I don't understand why you will lie anyway. Because the camera records everything and it's all recorded. This is why you people won't look at the cameras. Isn't that right? You can't in prosecutor. In Canton, Ohio, who's prosecuting that case? Isn't that right? Don't worry. Curses have been placed on you as well. Because the courts of heaven have also found you guilty. Because you're supposed to uphold justice and you have not done that. So therefore, the Lord says you had denied justice for mine and justice shall be denied for you. You have been sentenced to death as well. So. I plead with this girl and I leave the store. Then she tries to stop me from leaving the store. OK, you ban me from the store. You say I'm not going to sell to you. And then when I leave the store, you fight me to try to from getting out of the store. This is what you white devils do. This is what you do. This is what you white devils do. And all of this is on camera. You have been found guilty by the, by the doctors. And these curses have been sent to your family, your home. And everyone that is around you are under these curses. Plagues, diseases, and random acts of death shall come upon you. So, the police come. They arrest me. And then on top of it, they charge me with menacing and assault. Meanwhile, I'm the whole, I'm the victim the entire damn time. The damn victim. But I'm black. So automatically, I'm the aggressor, which is why Dollar Tree, you have a lawsuit coming your way. Oh yeah. Oh yes. So, they charge me. June 28th, 22, I go to court. I plead not guilty. The, judge, the prosecutor, I got to smoke a cigarette because I'm so, I'm so angry 
at this situation because it's so it's so simple. It's so menial. It is so menial and simple. But the menial and the simple have taken this and blown this into a whole a whole thing. They made it a thing. Because this is what the menial and the simple do. The prosecutor offers me a plea deal for one of the charges with the starter bus. I was banned from not wearing a mask and they charged me for that. You know, these this these pointless charges. Meanwhile, you got white people running around here with machetes. You have all these white devils, meth heads, you know, but you 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 you're charging people for not wearing masks. This is what you dirty devils, you white devils do here in Canton, Ohio, one of the most racist cities in America. But the difference is they're undercover racists, which makes them actually worse than the open racists, because I'd rather deal with them. I'd rather deal with an open racist down in Texas and Mississippi than deal with one of you buck two white devils here in Canton, Ohio. Because you're undercover pieces of shit, and you have all been sentenced to death. So, he tells me to take a plea deal and... And basically admit the charges that I shouldn't even be admitting to. That, that I'm the victim. But you're not the victim. So you're going to take this plea deal. And you're going to uh, admit to this even though you didn't do none of it. No. I said no that's not happening. We're going to take this to trial. And you're going to prove it. You're going to prove it. So he says well if you don't take the plea deal. I, she said you were stealing from the store. So now it's a robbery charge. Well, wait a minute. I was shopping at the store and she refused to sell to me. How is that stealing? How is that even remotely close to stealing? But this is what you white devils do. This is what you white devils do. So when you white devils are slaughtered, when your children are kidnapped and their heads are cut off, you have nobody to blame but yourselves, man. Because according to the Bible, this is what's going to happen to your people for what you did to the chosen people, the children of Israel. For what you did to them will be done unto you. And so now he charged me with robbery and I have to go fight a charge. I have to fight charges and I'm the damn victim. And so for that, I went to the voodoo doctors. I said, fuck this shit. Because that white devil ain't going to give me justice. And he's not going to tell the truth. I'm going to get my vengeance and my justice one way or the other. Sierra Stone. 2129 Henry Avenue, Southwest Canton, Ohio. 44703. I have take my pleas and my conditions to the courts of heaven. I have summoned angels. And they have rendered a verdict. It took 21 days. 21 days ago, I went to the courts of heaven against you, Sierra Stone and Nicole and the prosecutor against all three of you. And I had to wait 21 days while the angels do their research and they have found you all three to be guilty. And they have sentenced you all to death. And 144 curses have been placed on your entire families. All three of you. And those curses are curses of death, plague, disease, and sickness. And the same lies that you have told upon me should now be returned upon you. And the same demons you have sent against me should now be returned back unto you and your children and your family and your friends and anyone who has ever sat at your table. Anyone who has ever spoken to you are now cursed. This is what happens when you come against the servant of the great God. This is what happens when you lie. This is what happens when you lie and bear false witness. And that's not it. When this case is over, Sierra. Because the cameras will prove me to be innocent and will prove you to be guilty. It will prove you both to be all to be guilty. Because you have been found guilty of bearing false witness, Sierra Stone, detrigation of character, 
all types of wickedness. These curses have been placed upon you. And that the fact that they have been placed upon you. The only way to break these curses is for you to repent of your sins. Which we already know you won't because the, the master said you won't. The, 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 my people in high places said you won't. Which is why the angels delivered judgment upon you. So, I felt that I needed to say the truth. Because the truth would not be said by the courts. Nor would it be said by Sierra Stone because she's clearly a white lying devil. A meth head. Who somehow got a manager job at Dollar Tree. Which is, I mean, the only reason you would have gotten that job is because everyone is dead. Doesn't nobody else want to work. Because you would have never had it any other time. Because you're nothing. That's that. That's that. And this is why you felt so, the need so hard to attack me. Because you look at me and you see everything you're not. You look at me and you see everything you wish you can be. You look at me and you see everything you wish your man can be. See, I know you're around black men. But none of them Negroes are like me. And you wish. You tried to send some of those Negroes after me. And they came not. You know why? Because they know who the fuck they dealing with. So you took it upon yourself. I'm a white woman. I can say whatever I want to say. And I can do whatever I want to do. Wrong. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> because we have powers too. And I will utilize every curse, every spell against you until you are done and utterly destroyed. And when this case is over, I will sue you for every dollar that you have, which is not much. But by the time I'm done with you, you're going to be standing right at the YWCA. We give all praises to the great God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Great glory, great wonder. To the great four angels who hold the four corners of the earth. Raphael the north. Michael of the west. Gabriel the east. Uriel of the south. We give acknowledgement to the great slain lamb. The king of the negroes. The negro king. Ba'ashim Yishaya Hamashiach. The great Christ. We give acknowledgement to the great mother. And the great wife. Wisdom. Courage. Raha Kadash. There was a lesson. This is what the cho a lot of people who are in this truth, are going through hell right now. A lot of us are in these courts fighting these demons, these devils. But we will have victory, and they will be destroyed. And this is why we praise our God. And when wrath and indignation comes upon all of you, Sierra Stone and the prosecutor who denied me justice, just know that it is the God of Abraham who would kill you and your entire family.